One way to get a sense of the uh, amazing number of unique planets that are present in no man's sky is not just to analyze the number, but maybe to compare it to our own galaxy. So the, the no man's sky number is in the order of quintillion, right? It's 1.8. So in all right, no man's sky, NMS, right? The, the, the planets available there are about 1.8 times 10 to the 19th. Amazing, right? And now if we look at the Milky Way, there are 300 billion stars and at least um, 100 billion planets. So let's just write those two numbers in scientific notation. And then we can answer this question here because they want us to work in scientific notation. So in the Milky Way, right, right, how many planets are there? There's 100 billion. So 100 billion a billion is 10 to the ninth, so that equals 100 times 10 to the ninth. In scientific notation, that's 10 squared times 10 to the ninth. 10 squared is 100, which is 10 to the 11th, or 1 times 10 to the 11th. Look at that, right? The no man's sky has 10 to the 19th planets, right? Amazing. And the Milky Way has 10 to the 11th planets. So you can see already that that's uh, 8 powers of 10 which is over a hundred um, million times more planets in a no man's sky. Not a not hundred million more, but a hundred million times more number of planets. So you can multiply the number of planets in the Milky Way by a hundred million, or ten to the eighth, and you get the number of planets about in no man's sky. In this problem, they're saying, well, if we take the 300 billion stars in the Milky Way, so the Milky Way, 300 billion stars, and we compare that to the number of planets, how many more stars are there than planets. And they want us to show this calculation in scientific notation, but we'll show it in a couple of ways. So, so 300 billion is 300 times 10 to the ninth, which is, now 300 is 3 times 10 squared, and still times 10 to the ninth there. That's 3 times 10 to the 11th stars. So to find the difference between these two, we can just subtract. And here, um, right, if you write 3 times 10 to the 11th minus 1 times 10 to the 11th, what do we get? Well, we get 2 times 10 to the 11th. And one really easy way to think about why we don't subtract the 10 to the 11th, why it just stays there, and why we're able to subtract the 3 and the 1, uh, goes back to the numbers here, I think, for me. So just imagine, here you're subtracting 100 billion from 300 billion. 300 billions that's this number, 3 times 10 to the 11th, minus 100 billions, here is 200 billions. So we're finding the number of 100 billions in between. So we keep that 10 to the 11th there.